if you look at Southeast Texas, as I have, uh, what you have is different temperatures in different places. And roughly speaking, closer you are to the Gulf, the warmer it is uh, in the winter. Uh, and uh, in, in the summer, the cooler it is in the daytime and the warmer it is at night. So uh, Galveston has hot summer winter nights and cool summer winter days. And some place like Conroe or uh, Huntsville or somewhere has cold summer nights and warm hot summer days. So it, like Huntsville has like a 28 degree swing in August from night to day. And Galveston has like a nine degree swing. And so your whole planting schedule really just, and if you're in a city, it's much warmer than the country. So Herman Park uh, is gonna be 10 degrees warmer in the summertime than someplace like Brazos Bend or somewhere like that out in the state park. So basically you need to have some idea where you are in terms of temperatures. And I'm gonna show you how you do this but I've created planting schedule based on seasons of the year. And these are the um, uh, geological seasons and they're important for planting. Um, and uh, basically this is the average temperature for three months, the average low temperature for three months. And uh, if you're in zone A, if your average temperature is 50 degrees, and you're in zone D and your average winter temperature is 44. And uh, what you get is a schedule and you have this on your, uh, uh, and it's in my book. Um, what zones, these are all weather stations that have reliable temperatures for, period from 2007 to 2017. So it does not include this recent winter, but uh, probably not the averages down. But, you know, so if you're, it, what you have to do is figure out what place on here you're closest to, and that'll give you an idea of what zone you're in each season of the year. And your schedule, I made some maps that are not in your handout because these are just rough drawings. I'm a terrible artist. Uh, somebody want to redo this thing in a brilliant way. Uh, um, let me know. I'll uh, endorse an improved drawing. But basically, um, what you see here in summer is that this is a planting zone. This is a planting zone. There's a little bit here in B also. This is all C in summer. And uh, up here in College Station, it's, it's hotter right there in the urban area there. Um, we have a, and uh, let's see, I have to go here. This is spring and it changes somewhat because Galveston Bay is still very cool, very late in the spring, whereas the land heats up really fast and so on. So uh, this is uh, fall and fall and very similar to spring, except that the, of course the water in the Gulf is now heated up and it lasts much the heat lasts much later into the fall than it does on the land. So land cools down much faster in say November than uh, the water does. So that's what you see. So you see a much less area in C in the fall than you did say in summer or spring. And uh, this one is winter and in winter is the big thing because what you, we were just talking about things that were cool weather planting and 
you can see here how the Gulf keeps things much warmer and cities keep things much warmer. So in the book, there's a detailed planting schedule for every zone for 140 plants throughout the year. Um, and as well as the temperature needs of all the vegetables. Um, but here is a rough breakdown of these things. Uh, and I'm not going to read this to you. It's there in your notes. But things that you can plant different times of the year by zone. Um, trying to do this in a way that um, doesn't uh, require you to buy the book. I'm not trying to actually push the book, although I spent a lot of time writing it. And uh, I think it's the best version of what I know about this as of when I published it. Keep learning, of course. But these are all for different zones, your directions of what to do. And uh, this is all zones A to C. And so what you would do is you would look at your, um, you would look at where you're located, figure out what your zone is and plant according to that. Um, uh, in the colder zones, you're not gonna be able to plant outside anywhere near as many things. Uh, if you're in one of the colder zones, you're either going to need to get a plastic hoop house and grow inside of that or greenhouse, or um, you're just not going to be able to grow as many th things. 